Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another custom paint video. Today's video, we have got a set of original 1970s, I do believe, Lambretta Tuk Tuk doors. Now you usually see these, I think flying around in like India, they use them as taxis, delivery vehicles. You get a few over in the UK, but you don't see many of these about anymore. This is an original one, so these are original doors. And as you can see, they are showing their age. They've got dinks, dents, scratches all round. The actual hinges in here, they're rusty, as you can see. So what we've got to do, guys, on these two doors, we are adding a couple of logos. I'll pan around now and show you what logo we're going to be doing. So we're going to be dropping a Peroni logo to the centre of this door. Now to get this logo to look like that, we've got to do some multiple layer stencils. So you would cut this out, the actual Peroni logo, duplicate times, and then you would use different parts of the shields and put them on to get the colours basically. So you've got the white, the red, the gold, the black, and you layer it up in certain ways to get them colours down to your panel. Once that's done, we've then got to patina the logos so we've got to put some scratches in them, knock the paint back, make it look rough. We'll put some rust pieces in there as well, just so it blends into the doors. But that will be in part two on this. Today's video, we're going to be getting these prepped. Now, as you can see, this paint is really chalky. So we've really got to strip this paint back. I'm going to go in with the grey scotch bright with panel white and we're going to thoroughly clean all these two doors down. Then we're going to try, if I can, I've had a look on the backs of these handles and hinges. Now the backs of these, the bolts are really rusty, same as the hinge in here. And these are little bolts that bolt these pieces of glass in. I don't want to go trying to undo them because if they snap, it'll be a nightmare either just to get an original hinge or even just to get the original ones that go in on this glass so we can do some masking it's not a problem we can pop this glass forward pull the internal rubber out we can mask and bag the door off we're going to back mask this edge here because we'll finish our clear coat edge to round this bit here so we'll mask up here and get these ready for the stencils and the paint so today's video will basically be prepping guys, we'll get all these sorted out, bagged, taped and then ready for part two when I take you through the stages of dropping this stencil down with the logo, show you the patina and get all that done and I can take you through clear coat stages on these two doors. So stick around and I'll see you in the first time lapse. the prep stage done on these seeing them time lapses I started off with loads of panel wipe because these were really dirty and they look quite clean now the paint looks quite nice on these now it's dull but it's a lot cleaner so we've gone in with a grey scotch loads of panel wipe cleaned all around the area that we need to be putting clear coat to I've masked out all the glass 
we popped these forward, I banged the inside, papered that off, masked both sides of the glass so that's all done. All the door handles and hinges are nicely masked up. So everything is ready to go for the next stage, which will be part two on this. And I can take you through doing the logos, we'll do the textures, the patina look and things like that. And then we can get these up into clear. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Tuk Tuk Doors part one. And I hope you can join me in part two. I just want to say a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers that have come over to the channel. All the comments, guys, much appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.